They welcome guests arriving at the Feshpiel House, check their tickets, and are responsible for the well-ordered procedures in the auditorium during the performance. That's our Girls in Blue. The name The Blue Guard, or later on, The Girls in Blue, for the door stewards in Bayreuth, was taken from the color of their clothing. Meanwhile, this name has become established and is widely recognized, even though, strictly speaking, since the 2009 season, the girls in blue no longer exist. The reason being that the ladies wore gray suits and not blue for the first time. Their work at the Feshpiel House, however, has remained the same. Die blauen Mädchen sind einfach die erste Begegnung des Kunden, des Zuschauers, des the girls in blue are our theater's first contact with the customer, with the audience, with the ticket holder. Effectively, their role is of great significance. They're truly the audience's first encounter with the theater, at the doors and in front of the doors, where they show people the way and check tickets. In that respect, great store is set by friendliness and helpfulness. About one and a half hours before the performance begins, all 25 usherettes on duty meet for a team meeting. Here, the previous day's work is discussed and keys are allocated for the day. 21 doors and four anterooms need to be manned and the operation schedule rotates daily. After all, each of the usherettes should have a seat with a good view of the stage at least once. First of all, following the daily meeting, all doors to the auditorium need to be checked. They should remain closed up until 15 minutes before the start of the act, to allow for alterations to the stage. Then the sale of programs begins. When the first bell chimes, the girls then open the doors. They check the tickets, show the audience where to go, and assist elderly people to their seats if required. When the final bell chimes, they close the doors from the inside, because in the Festspiel House, the rule is strictly enforced that no admission is permitted once the act has begun. Anyone arriving late is not allowed in. People can exit at any time, however. The doors are special security doors, which can be opened in the event of an emergency. During the performance, the girls sit in the auditorium. They keep an eye on the guests to ensure everyone is fine in order that they can call the theater doctor in an emergency. At the end of the act, they guide the audience out because every minute of the one hour intermission may be needed for stage alterations. The usherettes have been looking after the audience at the Bayreuth Festspiel House since 1951. The partially strict selection criteria, such as a maximum age of 25 years, no longer applies. And since the 2010 season, men can also apply for positions. For many years, it was mostly young, unmarried ladies from the Bayreuth region who occupied the spots at the doors of the Feshpiel House. Today, it is mostly school pupils and students. Some even come to Bayreuth from abroad for the festival period. Sie finden die Atmosphäre hier so einzigartig und das they find the atmosphere here so unique, and I feel the same way. If you're not a mainstay here, and you get to know the world of the opera from behind the stage, it's simply fascinating. I find the organizational procedures, everything that goes on behind the scenes, simply fascinating. For me, it's also a unique experience to be in this theater and to hear these operas, and I think the girls in my troupe are in seventh heaven when they come out after the performance. It's just wonderful. Die Mädels aus meiner Truppe, die sind einfach haben Sterne in den Augen, wenn sie aus den Ausführungen rauskommen. Es ist einfach nur schön. When the curtains come down after the final act, the girls guide the guests out for the final time. However, that is not the end of their day's work. After the performance, the usherettes are responsible for the locking of all outer doors, the returning of all keys to the key holder, and checking the accounts for program sales. <laughs>